average rate of change. Example, find the average rate of change of the function f of x is equal to 5x cubed plus 5 over the given interval from 2 to 4. Here's the analytic solution. The formula for the average rate of change is delta y divided by delta x. Delta y is the change in y and delta x is the change in x. Delta y is f of x of 2 minus f of x of 1 all over delta x which is x of 2 minus x of 1. From the given information we see that x of 1 is 2 and x sub 2 is 4. If we substitute the given information into our average rate of change formula, we see that delta y divided by delta x is f of 4 minus f of 2 all over 4 minus 2. And the solution continued in order to find f of 4, we would take our equation and substitute x with 4. So f of 4 is equal to 325 in order to find f of 2, again we would take our f of x formula, substitute x for 2, and f of 2 is 45. So putting in our values for f of 4, f of 2, x of 2, and x of 1, we have the average rate of change formula, which simplifies down to 140. Let's take a look at the calculator solution. First, we must enter the function into the grapher as y sub 1. So we should enter the y equals. And we're going to put in our function 5x raised to the third plus 5. And the next thing we're going to do is return to the home screen. So we should use second and mode. Next, we'll enter the average rate of change function below. In order to get the y sub 1 functions, here are the keystrokes for doing that. So since we're using a fractional bar, we're going to use a begin parenthesis for our numerator. In order to pull out the y sub 1 from our calculator, we'll simply enter variables. We will scroll over to y variables. And we want functions, so we'll simply press enter. And the function that we want is stored for y sub 1, so we would also hit enter. We want to evaluate y sub 1 at 4, so we should include 4 in a set of parentheses. We're going to pull out our y sub 1 function once again. This time evaluate it at 2. And remember to close off your beginning parentheses. We're going to divide that by another begin parentheses for our denominator. And our answer is 140.